We're here with Bumble and the ASPCA uh, as you and your Bumble Match volunteer here. Mm -hmm. What, why Bumble and what makes this project so special? I think Bumble because um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Bumble. I think uh, they're definitely one of the bigger social networks out there with like over 50 million users. So I think, you know, in order for us to, to raise the amount of money for these animals that we wanted to do, I think Bumble was going to be great for it. And tell us a little bit about your match. How did this whole thing come about? And tell us about the contest. Yeah, so pretty much we had a, um, I had a profile on uh, Bumble that people could swipe left or swipe right. Hopefully they're not uh, <laughs> disliking it. <laughs> um, and pretty much those um, candidates get randomly selected to, uh, I guess, win to hang out with me at the ASPCA today. What was your profile pitch like? Uh, I, I think it was just a photo of me with my dog. I had a husky from back home. Okay. Yeah. Since you joined Force, Forces with Bumble, we have to ask, what gets your attention on the social network? I think I'm always attracted to humor. I think um, for me, that's probably, that, that would be it for me, for sure. So when you're reading the profile, you see Yeah, something funny. witty, something fun. I think if you can have fun with someone and have a laugh, that's probably the best. How much crazier can the season get? Honestly, these writers can surprise you. They can. They surprise me with every episode. So, I think the great thing about this show is because it's you know not based on real life, and we're we're in a, another universe essentially. The writers can do whatever they want. Like I got attacked by a bear. I have done the craziest stuff on the show. So I think they can take it as far as as far as they want. Not something more dramatic than get attacked by a bear. I think, I, yeah, I think they can push it, for sure. Definitely. Um, did you ever read a script and think, there's no way that the show can pull off that twist? Yeah, me getting attacked by a bear, for sure, <laughs> was one of those moments. Coming up, we have a musical episode for people to see, uh, which is really fun. Um, I, think it, I think it's going to be, uh, for, in my opinion, like an upgraded version of the last one that we did last season. I think uh, we had a lot more time to practice uh, choreography and stuff like that. Uh, Cole is singing in this one too, which is interesting. Charles is also singing, which is even more interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think the fans are going to love that one. It's a, obviously a whole nother musical. Yeah. Um, uh, Heather's is the musical. Okay. And um, yeah, it's going to be great. Haven't worked with him yet, haven't got to have any scenes with him yet, but um, I met him for the first time actually while we were shooting the musical episode and he's a, he's a legend, he's a great guy. He is the cult leader. He's playing a character called Ed, Edgar Evernever. Um, who is, I mean, without giving too much away, he is the cult leader of a very suspicious group. Does Archie ever get a break? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't expect Archie to get a break anytime soon. I'd like to see him kind of get a little bit more grounded. I'd love to see Archie get back to his roots, I think. He needs to, the relationship he has with Fred, I think, is, is my favorite relationship uh, that Archie has. I think it's, it's a really, it's probably, in my opinion, the strongest relationship in the show between two people is, is Archie and his dad. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd love to see that relationship come back into his life. Um, and yeah, give me more fighting stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, I love the fighting. 